Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So module 28 brought a lot of new gear and in this video I want to cover the new artifact set. This comprises of the Cosmic Clasp, the Sash of the Shooting Stars and the Zealoth's Blast Scepter. All of it creates a set which is called Astral Dash which will give you extra damage when you stand still for a period of time. Unfortunately, this set is a little bit bugged and doesn't work exactly how it says it does, but otherwise it's actually a bit better than you would see on paper. When we saw this set for the first time and we say checked collections, we could see that it would just give us 4% damage. However, it actually does say when you obtain the set and look at the tooltip of the neck and the waist piece that it says with the equip, Improve set bonuses of the item set Astral Dash based on the refinement level of this item. And that is correct. We upgrade it to Mythic and we end up with a 6% damage. I would have liked to see that personally to be like 10% damage, but alas, it's just 6%. And we will compare it versus today the Detector set and the Shroomwood set, which are currently like the best two sets for damage dealers right now. So first of all, how do you get this set? We'll check out how it works and what's bugged with it and also cover the artifact later on. This set comes from the new campaign. You can purchase it here at the vendor, but you can also get it to drop for you within the new dungeon. You just need to do the advanced or master Imperial Citadel. You can also get the artifact here for a whopping million Astral Diamonds or you get it from the auction house for super cheap. It's one of the best artifacts to use and it's going for less than a 7,000 Astral Diamonds. Absolutely crazy. If you do not have this one already, I would highly recommend picking it up. Even if you're a newer player, that's an absolute bargain for an artifact that you can upgrade to Mythic to have the highest item level in the game of 1,500 and some decent stats with it. And then using it as primary is also very good. It's got that 15% damage resistant reduction to your target. That places it on like the top three, pretty much matched with the Mythalar Fragment, in terms of the artifacts you want to use in a group for artifact calls, 15%. Now, we did go and test, and it does not stack with a Halaster's Blast Scepter. It is just a direct upgrade. They have the exact same effect and they will not stack with each other. Despite what you might see via the icons on the boss, yes, it will show Zealoths and Halasters, but they won't actually work properly together. Only one of them will give the 15%. So with that aside, you now have these green artifact set pieces. They still give 2,600 item level and then just the Astral Dash at 4%. But what you can do is upgrade them. And it's not that simple though, unfortunately. You need Pacific reagents, like Hearts of the Dying Star. To get to blue, you need five of them. And those are just coming from killing mini bosses at a very low drop rate. So you have the mini bosses, one in each of all of these wild space zones. They will all have a chance to drop that for you, but it's super rare. I got like two of them killing over 200 bosses. So otherwise you simply go to your campaign, Adventures in Wild Space, and you buy them here. 10,000 Astral Diamonds, 20 pieces of nine, and five Volkath vouchers. So the cost, not a problem. The only issue is, yeah, the amount you can get. You can only get two per week from this store. You can get another two per week from the arena store here. And so, yeah, you're limited to four per week, and then you could get more from killing mini bosses if you wanted to rush it, but then you collect them and then you go and upgrade these pieces. So you need five to get to blue. What you can do is get five on multiple characters and just upgrade it. And then you go and transfer that via the bank and then upgrade it again, as it does not get bound when you upgrade it unless you equip it. So do not equip it until you have upgraded to the quality you want. So you can just go refine here, and that'll spend those reagents. I'm not going to do it here in the live server, not for now, 
because I can then just copy to the preview server and we have the pieces here. So you upgrade it to blue then and from there you need to get to purple and you need 10 of those Heart of the Dying Stars. So it's just a time gate or you have lots of alts and you farm this campaign and get all those Hearts of the Dying Star in each of them. You get 10 of them on one character and you can upgrade it to purple. Now from purple then you need to use a different reagent, these meteor fragments. So ideally from the beginning, if you plan to upgrade the set, you should be buying those as well. And those don't come from mini bosses at all, so no chance to get extra. You simply just get two per week from this store. This is the currency from the dungeon, advanced and master. You need to spend 10 of it, and then 200 of the pieces of nine. And then over on the arena store, you can purchase two more so you need five of them to get to legendary and then to go from legendary to mythic you need eight of them now all of this comes with the cost of astral diamonds too so it's a very costly set to get upgraded to mythic on both of the pieces should you be doing it well it just has astral dash six percent bonus damage again Technically, combined with the 2,900 item level, this set is best in slot. However, if we look at other artifact sets and their bonuses that they can provide, along with the ability scores, we find it's very close. And just in short, I would not upgrade this set. I would not bother with it. So this set is very costly to upgrade. Again, green to blue. You need like 100,000 astral diamonds. Blue to purple, 200,000. Purple to legendary, 300,000. And you guessed it, legendary to mythic, 400,000. So yeah, just a million astral diamonds just to get one of these pieces upgraded. That is a combined 2 million astral diamonds along with all the farming and grinding needed to get still their materials, the reagents to upgrade them. Luckily though, it's a 100% upgrade chance on every single rank. So you don't have to worry about moats or prez warts. But still, over 2 million astral diamonds plus extra grinding just to get this upgraded for what? How good is it compared to the detectors and say shroomwood? If you're a magical damage dealer, you'll be using scintillating, but it'll pretty much still apply like this. And when we look at the math, we can see that versus Shroomwood, you would only gain about a 0.75% damage gain. Yeah, I would not say that cost is worth it whatsoever. And that is on the requirement of hafting to stand still. Yes, I can get my stats maxed out. They're all 90% in combat with this set. However, if I run with the Shroomwood set, I can also get my stats maxed out to 90% and even switch over to a bonus damage ring of 5%. And that is where the difference in the damage buffs here is 95 versus 96 because, yeah, there's, and there's only a 1% damage resistance because I can make that switch because the Shroomwood set would give the 7.5% accuracy that I would otherwise gain through this other ring. But keep in mind that is, again, in wild space content. So out of wild space content, yeah, you wouldn't have that easy of a switch and say, unless you're say in Zemnid's Reliquary or any content that has specific damage type, you'd use like a damage bonus ring instead. So the damage difference is just not big enough for that cost to really be worth it. And then if we compare versus the detector set, which can be very good, particularly if you have like a no Raptor build to give you Forte as well, which gives extra power and then giving you the combat advantage. It does have the requirement of needing to cast a lot of those encounter powers and continually. So if you have a fight which is like broken up in phases a lot, you might struggle to maintain the bonus of this set and then it becomes not very feasible and you're just better off running the Shroomwood set. But if we look at the math, we can see that, yeah, still the Zealoth set that would be like 0.58% better. So again, not really worth 
the upgrade cost whatsoever. Now to make matters worse, <laughs> this set requires you to actually stand still for 6 seconds, not 3, to gain the bonus. Which is unfortunate, that makes it even less appealing to use. I would personally like it to give you the bonus when you stand still after just one second and that still like requires you to have to stand still but then it doesn't have so much content dependent like standing still for one second then going into the artifact call you'll usually stand still for the artifact call and it would make the set actually viable right now it just really isn't especially requiring you to stand still for six seconds instead of what it claims at three ultimately i think this set is just a waste of anybody's time don't go for it if you want a cheaper set go for the detector set if you want to go for a very like content friendly set you can probably just go with the shroomwood or if you're on a magical damage dealer go with the scintillating those yeah can be still like a million a piece and the scintillating probably even more but they're more worth it than getting this set all the way upgraded and going through that grind especially because this set is useless then in multi-target where you have to move around like continuously. But sure, you could just take the set on green and don't bother upgrade it at all. It is not worth the astral diamonds cost to do so, but it is still 2600 item level on the neck and the waist. And so you can consider it as just stepping stone gear for a totally new player who say got into advanced Imperial Citadel and doesn't yet have, say, the detector set or the shroom it said, and isn't willing to either go into the Moon Dancer trial or spend the Astro Diamonds for the Shroomwood. So it has, yeah, a place. But I would highly recommend do not bother upgrading it until potentially cryptic buff it and fix the issue with it activating only after six seconds and not three honestly my suggestion would be to buff this to at least 10 percent potentially doubling in wild space and also reducing the standstill time down to like one second maybe again only in wild space yes it'll make it even less worth it to upgrade when we look outside of wild space but at least for now it could be very useful if it had say 20% damage, stand still after one second. Wouldn't that be great? People would go for it, people would spend for it, and you'd gain that extra boost in the new dungeon and in the Moon Dancer trial if you can stand still. But ultimately, as it stands, it's disappointing. I would not use it. Again, still got a bug. You have to stand still for six seconds and just over two million cost with a bunch of time gates of grinding. So once again, thanks for watching, a massive thank you to all of these channel members, and we'll see you guys around, goodbye for now.